Representative Kistner also was told that, quote, custody of flying disks was permanently vested in civilian authorities by classified presidential executive order in July 1948, and the reason would be to keep the public from having any official access to what was happening as long as it was put in a civilian category. That civilian authority was the Atomic Energy Commission and its national laboratories. AEC participated with the Department of Defense's Air Force Systems Command, the Naval Research Laboratory, and the Research and Development Board of the Secretary of Defense, also established in late July 1947. The Research and Development Board coordinated all scientific inquiry, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff provided military support, and the National Security Council, newly formed in August of 1947, served as overall program coordinator, and it is my understanding that to this day, that the batons passing through the Majestic 12 group has always been through some kind of very compartmentalized section inside the National Security Council. The V-2 rocket crashed east of the impact zone on the outskirts of Alamogordo, New Mexico. And about that V-2 crash, here is what the May 16th, 1947 Las Cruces Sun News article headlined, quote, Lieutenant Colonel Harold R. Turner, White Sands Proving Ground Commanding Officer, blamed, quote, peculiar phenomena, unquote, for the erratic test flight of a German V-2 rocket which landed only six miles east of Alamogordo, unquote. Well, what actually happened during that May 15th, 1947 V-2 rocket launch? State Representative Andrew Kistner learned from his confidential sources that the facts remain classified and off limits to public and media to this day. But Colonel Turner's reference to peculiar phenomena was his discreet way of not saying unidentified aerial disks. How was the peculiar phenomena described? Andrew Kistner says that it was a radar target that instantaneously appeared next to the rising V-2 missile and immediately the V-2 rocket changed course. Kistner says his White Sands military sources saw a photograph of a flying disc that had been taken from a camera mounted inside of a V-2 rocket looking out a window and that the uh, disc is pacing right outside the window, enough so that they got several photographs of this pacing